what's up lovely people welcome back to my channel we are at a whole new destination i am in dakar in senegal so far it's been lovely we just arrived here yesterday evening i didn't have much of exploration to do yesterday because i was a bit exhausted and i just wanted to chill relax but today we have a whole new itinerary for the day we are going on a tour going to the gori islands and then afterwards we'll make a few stops along the way i'm gonna have the pleasure of taking you guys with me so come with me let's enjoy let's see what's out there and then i'm i'm gonna come back to you in the course of the day and also in the evening just to give you an overview of what has gone through throughout the day so come with me let's go have fun let's go see what dakar has to offer. And just to comment on the weather it was raining throughout the the whole trip in uh, where did i come from it was raining the whole time in Conakry. It doesn't look so promising today. <laughs> I'm looking at the clouds and thinking, oh God, please give us a good day today. It looks a bit gray. I'm just hoping that it doesn't rain. But anyway, it's all about dancing in the rain, isn't it? We're still going to have fun regardless. I just hope that it's not going to rain. Let us have a beautiful day today. If we're gonna have some sun, the better. If not, we're still going to have fun. That's all that matters, right? So all the slaves who were sold in this house, they were living from this town. Also all the sick and agonizing slaves thrown from this house to the shards, they were also thrown from that town. Now when came the time to leave, all the slaves were getting online and one by one they used to go to the boats. But back in those days, the boats wouldn't get very close to the door because of the rocks. So if you get closer to the door, you notice many, many big black rocks between the door and the water. So they decided back then to make some type of bridge. A long bridge made with this type of food up here called the palm wood. That way the slaves were able to walk one by one and reach the 
Also, anytime the slaves were going to the ports, the security guards used to be always standing one side to another of the wooden bed. Some of them prefer to commit suicide by just jumping in the water rather than going to the boat. And if they do that, they're going to drag many slaves with them because they were laying by the chains. So to avoid that, the security guards won't hesitate to shoot and kill the slaves who wanted to kill himself. That way they can save the other ones. <laughs> also, the slave trade lasted 312 years on this island because it was started by the Portuguese in 1536 and it was also abolished here by the French in 1848. So 1536 up to 1848, 312 years. So the Portuguese started, then the Dutch took over, then the British and finally the French. And history approximated in those 312 years that 20 million slaves transited all the way from the western coast of Africa to go either in North America, in the Caribbean, in South America, and in Europe. And about 6 million of them never made it. Okay? Almost a third didn't make it. They all died of sickness, bad treatments, sinking boats, epidemics. So around 14 million were spread between North America, Caribbean, South America, and Europe. Also, this was not the only slavery house around the island. Like I was telling at the beginning, this was the latest slave house beyond this island, also the most organized one. And that's the reason why history and the Ministry of Culture of Senegal decided to keep it as an example. But all the houses built alongside the water on this island, all of them were used back then as slave houses. Yeah, either by the Portuguese or the Dutch or the British or the French. And history counted about 28 legal slave houses around the island. Now get close and take your pictures and when we go upstairs I'll tell you how the slaves were brought from the coast to here. We used to bring them their prices and all the details. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of my idea. So you can close. Example, I write Senegal, so I already have the two letters.
what's up guys we are back to the hotel after having such such a lovely day i mean i cannot even begin to express how great and how successful the day was i mean everything went according to plan uh, as you probably have seen on the video we went to the gori islands and uh, just had a walk around the whole the whole island everything we got to see and hear today was almost unbelievable or unimaginable and it's so much when you see the movies about the the african slave trade but when you actually see where this took place when you see when you go through the rooms when you go through the torture chambers where the women were kept where the men were kept where the children were kept when you get to actually hear how human beings were reduced to nothing but literally nothing it it does something on the inside of you. Because guy was very knowledgeable. He had, he literally had the whole history on his fingertips and he explained everything in a way that it looked like it was a movie that you're actually seeing and it was so disheartening to think that human beings were treated as they were at that point and to think of the large number of people who died. I mean, they died in the millions in the course of the whole slave trade. When you think about that, I, I I have no words. I have no words. It was hard to actually film in there just because the atmosphere was not ideal to do the filming or like to take pictures and stuff, but it's it's good to have all that information. It's good to learn that and see how and understand how things are the way they are today. Through all the information that we got, it was hard to even believe that human beings could have actually survived any human being could have actually survived all that and then survived three months over the oceans and still make it it was all too sad so sad and so unbelievable that's just the only few words that i have to explain the whole experience anyway i'm gonna go quickly to the mall there's a mall that's attached, uh, there's a mall that's right next to our hotel. So I'm just going to run there quickly, get a few things and then come back, get ready for a flight to Dubai tomorrow. <laughs> 